So the Lord had said this to me. Prophets see and say, apostles hear and do. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's, That's why those two work together. Say that again. Prophets see and say, wow. apostles hear and do. Can I tell you this, and this is not going to be a surprise to anyone, and this, you probably already know this, but there is an apostolic grace on yeah. your life. Yes, Amen. absolutely. Amen. Totally. Amen. Absolutely. Now, one other time, the Lord had showed me this, because I'm learning to walk in that measure. I'm learning to walk in that grace myself. One time, the Lord has showed it to me this way. Here's, what, here's how an apostolic office looks like. And many times with the things of the Spirit, I'll, I'll see things and then have a hard time describing them in, in, in a language that people understand. Did you know that God has one, one, one major hurdle with talking to men is that we have to have language and He done, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But the Lord showed me this one time. The apostolic office functions this way. It goes into a new realm, a new territory, a new something. It busts the door wide open. Then it turns back and screams to everyone else, come on in. Right, right. That's good. Oh, man. Because if the door isn't open, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's no one to send an invite. That's right. Yes. This network, the doors of the network have to remain open mm -hmm. so that the invitation for others to come in can go on being put out. Praise God. Yes. Amen. And in that apostolic function that is on your life, mm -hmm. there is that authority authority and that anointing to keep that door open. Amen. Yes. 